As you know, the Big Bang Theory says everything started with an explosion. Let's just say the Big Bang is correct. An explosion happened and the universe was born. There's one question here. What was there before the explosion? To answer this question, Brian Greene, a theoretical physicist, says, This question has no meaning. Right now, we understand the question, what was there before the Big Bang? But if you go 13 billion, 800 million years ago, this question doesn't mean anything. Because in the Big Bang Theory, when the explosion happens, time just begins. So if there was no time before the Big Bang, that means there was nothing. Even though the Big Bang is a theory, and you can't for sure prove what was before it, but most physicists believe that time started on the Big Bang. And before that, it means nothing. So they kind of are saying that our brain power can't process it. Our knowledge says that time started on that day, but we might get super advanced and come up with new theories, like there was negative time. Basically, we go backwards from zero. Brian Green continues and says, there's something people forget, and that's positive and negative gravity. You guys already know gravity, like you drop a ball, Earth pulls it towards itself and smashes it into it. But Einstein says, there is a repulsive gravity as well. Basically, you know gravity pulls towards itself, but repulsive gravity launches away. We've never seen repulsive gravity, because Earth has regular gravity, and all planets in the solar system have regular gravity. The sun itself has the most powerful gravity. In his writings, Einstein said, imagine gravity as a source of energy, but not in a form of a star or a planet. When gravity comes from an energy, instead of pulling towards itself, it could be repulsive. Why are we saying all this information? So we can understand what happened during the Big Bang. Big Bang wasn't really an explosion, but it was an energy that all of a sudden started to expand. Basically, the energy expanded so fast, it looks like an explosion. And this expansion that happened until this day, 13.8 billion years later, this repulsive gravity and this expansion is still going on. One second after this event, meaning one second after the Big Bang, the temperature of the universe is 10 billion degrees Celsius. It is so hot in the universe at this moment that atoms cannot be formed. And it's so hot that there's only parts of atoms. Slowly, these are going to turn into all types of things. After that day, it took 370,000 years for the first atom to be formed. And do you know what atom that was? Hydrogen. And after that, helium came along. The heat of the universe is still a huge mystery for scientists, and they still can't figure out why it was so hot in the beginning of the universe. When we don't have an answer for it, we come up with theories. 
Physicists have different ideas and a lot of different ones. One theory says that this is not the first Big Bang and Big Bangs happen in another universe and just like dominoes, it goes on and on. One of the answers we could tell about the first question we have is that what happened before the Big Bang was other Big Bangs. Maybe an unlimited amount of Big Bang. This theory says that because of the Big Bang, our universe was born and it will eventually end and cause another Big Bang. But the time it will take is unbelievable because it will take trillions of years. If you've seen our video about the three theories that the universe will end, you will get to know three theories. This theory that we just explained to you guys, that Big Bang after Big Bang will happen, it is called the Big Bounce. There's another theory about this called the eternal inflation. This theory really causes a brain fart. In this theory, imagine the universe like a cell. When a cell is alone, what does it do? It divides and starts to multiply. And this continues and causes exponential growth. In eternal inflation, an unlimited amount of universes are being born and it just gets expanded and expanded. A lot of people believe that the Big Bang was a very special occasion, but some people believe the exact opposite. And they say the Big Bang was an ordinary thing that happens along with a lot of other Big Bang. And it happened an unlimited amount of times and it will continue to happen. In the end, we might never figure out that how this happened, what was before it, what will happen after. We're very small. We might get bigger and figure out some stuff. I'm not talking about our heights. I'm talking about our brain. We might eventually reach some answers, but right now we pretty much have nothing but theories. But humans show us every day that they'll never give up and they'll fight till the last breath.